What I would say to anyone who is considering working at EA is that there's no mold and no specific template that you need to fulfill to be a team member at EA. Look no further than me. I'm a lead designer on FIFA, which is the world's biggest game, and yet I come from driving and shooting games, and I'm not necessarily a football fan, yet a key contributor to the success of FIFA. You have to be self-motivated. There's a lot of things to do. There's a lot of opportunities. The door is open, but no one's necessarily going to push you through it. A friend of mine could go work for, let's just call it Company X uh, or EA, and they called me and they said, hey, you know, why should I come to EA? And I said, we can go there, and you can work there, and it'll be kind of like you'll get paid and you'll have your career, but we, will it be really exciting for you, or is it more entertaining to be working on a Star Wars game? I think to work at EA, you need to be resilient. Our products are are very complex. We have to do a lot of planning around them and there's a lot of moving pieces. So being able to stay organized, persevere through the tough times, and survive long enough to see the, the final product and be, and be proud of it. The most challenging thing about working here is just having patience, knowing that you may not get this project started yet, um, but you still have longer on the roadmap and you can get to it later. So um, it's it's an interesting place to where you're not having to kind of think of what to do next. It's deciding which one of the things to do next. 